Dr. Ashton here now. Viewer asking this question. Now, did the viewer put it this way, Dr. Ashton? How can I stop, stop my husband? From snoring so much? Should, well, should this be spouse or do our, our men more have a tendency to be louder? It could snores? be spouse. Okay. And actually, when you talk about snoring, loud snoring, obstructive sleep apnea, there's a myth and misconception that it's a man's problem. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you asked that okay. question. It could be it could be partner, spouse, anyone you're sleeping next to. This is such a valuable observation because they're sleeping, right? you wouldn't be the one to notice if they are snoring loudly. And I want to be crystal clear, if it is loud enough to disturb your sleep, wake you up, or keep you from falling asleep, that person should be evaluated yeah. for obstructive sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. um, it is much easier to do that right now. Still, it can be a little annoying logistically to go in for a sleep study, um, but getting a CPAP machine now is literally so much easier. It can be life-saving. They're not those giant big masks necessarily anymore. And it will make a massive difference, not only in your sleep ability, but in that person's health. But on if it's not a serious issue, is there anything, turn the sleep this yeah, way, a little, turn a little, a little nudge, elbow maybe turn up. That's what you're going with? <laughs> That's the medical term. Wow. No, but you know, you can a listen, shimmy. a little snoring once in a while, not a problem. Oh, okay. Very loud snoring, repetitive, that keeps you awake, should be evaluated for obstructive sleep. All right, apnea. and your prescription for wellness today. Has to do with diet and nutrition, and most people have heard of probiotics, the gut microbiome. These are the things that the probiotics, those bacteria eat, they feed on prebiotics. Um, so these are things that are important to potentially improve our immune system. It's all about the gut microbiome and health and wellness. It can enhance our anti-inflammatory response, um, which again comes a lot of times starts in the gut, and it can increase that good gut bacteria. So those are the probiotics. You can find these in food sources uh, that are rich in fiber, things like potatoes, banana, apparently even Jerusalem artichokes. I'm not such a fan of that one, but diverse diet. Oh, there you go. Well, <laughs> All right. <Dr. laughs> Folks, keep your health and wellness questions coming to us here at ABC GMA3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.